The rabbi took the fifth. He refused to answer any questions about this. Any rabbi Daniel Greer refused to provide any documents during the trial. His wife Sarah testified, saying none of the events ever happened. But Antonio Ponvier III, the attorney for the victim Ellie Marilis, said the evidence was all there. Marilis was a former high school boarding student at the yeshiva. He's a sick pedophile who preys on children who are defenseless, and somehow he finds pleasure in that. The victim's attorney said when Marilis was 15, 16, and 17 years old, Greer molested him at least once a week for a period of three years. Greer was in his 60s at the time. Mutual masturbation, oral sex, anal sex, fondling. Uh, the rabbi brought him to motels in Branford, a motel in, in Paoli, Pennsylvania. He had sex with him in the bedroom of his own house. I knocked on the door of Greer's home on West Park Avenue, but no one answered. Greer is also known as a real estate owner and owns several homes. One woman who didn't want to go on camera said she had heard about the sexual assaults and was shocked when she first heard about it. Marilis's attorney also said there was at least one other victim. That sexual relationship ended around the time Greer started with Marilis. The children trusted him. My client's parents trusted this rabbi to take care of their child. During these events, evidence showed the assistant dean of the school was well aware Greer was molesting a student, but failed to report it. And we were.